Hi and welcome to this rhino and grasshopper video. Today I was working on the kitchen for a project and one of the things that I wanted to do was create the handles for it just to see what they would look like and also to just have that script ready to use on the entire thing and also there's to duplex so I'll have to do that on another portion. Let me show you what I did. First thing is I started with the point. Oh, and I think it's going to have this preview. So I'll disable the preview on this or even unplug it. So I hold down shift, unplug this. Now we can go here and kind of walk through the different things that we have here. These points are under a different layer. And that's one thing that I would suggest is having um, everything in a different layer. That way it's a lot easier to turn things on and off. Um, now let's go here. Started with the points. It actually started with just then the points are moved to both sides. Those were then moved vertically and I created a rail to be perfect for the handles. So then I created a plane right on one of those points, created a rectangle that I then moved to the center. I could sweep it around that. And at the end, I went ahead and tapped it. Um, and so this is more of a project specific script, but I wanted to share with you that uh, Grasshopper can be used for many things, not just uh, creating crazy architecture, but it could be used for uh, creating simple things like so I can also type in show, bring back these points. I can select these objects and just bring them down. This way we can locate them this way. You can also create a move down, but I think it's better if we let the points take care of that portion. Cool. Now let me show you some of the parameters we have. This is going to be handle width. And also would like to make it more of a range with a few decimal points. We have a bit more subtleness to the way we can change this. This one is going to be how far it projects out from the base here to handle projection. And that one already has some decimal points, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, this is going to be handle size. And one of the things that I've been getting used to doing is if I have a lot of wires going to different thing. I do like to double click here, create a relay. And this way, it just keeps everything a little bit more organized going to just to one slider. So I can change this if I need to. Radius. Split. For the most part, that'll take care of it. Now, lately I've been grouping these and putting it with the color white, uh, but you can choose any color. And I do that so I can be aware of those things. Now, I know that there's a plugin and I still haven't installed it where it gives you the name of the, the component on top. So that's one of the things that I want to do in the future. I just haven't got around to it. So let's do this. Okay. So with this, I'll share that script with you. I'll go ahead and continue on doing this and show the end result.
If you have any questions or any other ideas, let me know. If you want to get in contact with me, check out my website, kapettydavid.com. There you can find a way to contact me. Also courses and scripts for Rhino and Grasshopper. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.